Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by the video channel again and today we're going to look at a alternative for Microsoft OneNote. Now I'm a big OneNote fan, it's a very good note-taking application. Um, unfortunately if you're in Linux you're kind of stuck with using the Microsoft Office web clients. There's no uh, downloadable client for Linux, which is okay for a desktop machine but uh, I like to take notes on my notebook as well and love to have my um, my notes synchronized so I don't have to go online every time I take a quick note. Um, what I also like about OneNote is you're able to take a photo with Office Lens for your mobile application which is on Android and iOS and it extracts whiteboards and presentations um, uh, and puts it in, in a notepad. Now I've been looking on the web for an alternative um, and as you all know I'm also a Zoho partner um, and recently I have been kindly made uh, available a, um, a Zoho notebook offline client for Linux. Now this is still very much in beta testing um, but I thought I'd show you around a little bit on, on Zoho Notebook, which is available for free. Um, and it's a very good OneNote alternative. Um, and it also is an Evernote alternative. So let me just open up the, one, the Notebook client. Um, this is the offline client, so I don't have to be um, online to, to actually access this. And I can just create new um, uh, notebooks here and they get a very nice cover. So these are notebooks um, that I've actually saved before. Now I can just create a new notebook here. It uh, creates an automatically a cover. You can change the cover to whatever you like. You can put your custom covers in there. Um, I really don't care too much about the covers. Um, so let's just open it up and edit the title. So this is my test notebook. Now in that notebook, I can have multiple notes. So I can just write a note here, which is just a uh, standard text note, etc. Um, I can give it a title. So this is my test. Um, and I can format the text the way I want to. I can you know, move indents, etc. I can put little bullets. Um, so bullets are here. helps if I spell it correctly, etc. Um, numbered lists, uh, what we use notes quick uh, for a lot is also to use it for um, uh, lists. So think of shopping lists, etc. Um, but also just things you need to do when you're um, uh, following up on stuff after a meeting. Um, you can add a hyperlink to a note. So let's go for the Zoho notebook website uh, so here you go so if you want to have the notebook and down or yeah well you can't download the Linux client just yet but I'm assuming this will be available pretty soon and then insert um, you see the nice text here but it will take you straight to that site and you can add pictures to uh, notebook so let's just do this one here and this is the cover for the YouTube video that you're looking at. Um, I can put a horizontal line if I want to split my notes. So here we go. Um, and it overrides my picture. So <laughs> that's a little bit odd. Um, let's just see if I add that picture again. Probably had the picture still selected. Here we go. Underneath you see a little clock, which um, this is actually a very good feature. This gives you a reminder that you need to follow up something on your note. So if you want to say, hey, I want to follow up something, set reminder, um, it actually reminds you to do something. Um, now, since the note uh, notebook also has a Android and iOS client, um, it doesn't. You don't have to be on your desktop and, and op have the website open or or the client open. Um, you can just you know add it in. Um, and you'll be reminded. The other thing here is what you see is a, um, uh, a bucket. Um, if you don't like the color of the note, which is randomly chosen, you can just give it a different color or you can do a color picker um, where you can really customize the color that you want. Uh, again, I don't really care about it. It's for me, it's about the notes. I don't really care that much about the colors, but here you go. Um, the little star will make this note a favorite. Um, the lock will lock the note, so you can't accidentally write over it. Um, if you want to have versions, you can see here the different versions of the note. This is actually pretty cool, um, because when you uh, change your note, 
um, you might want to revert back to something you've accidentally deleted. So versions will do that for you. Um, there is a info tab on the node. Um, it basically gives you when the node was created, uh, where it is, etc. Um, not able to download it just yet. Uh, probably that's because I'm in the beta. Um, you can copy the note to another notebook. You can uh, move the note to another notebook. You can share this note and you can make it uh, share it by mail, um, which obviously gives an email and you know it, it shares the note to whomever you send it to. Um, you can also create a public shareable link. And that's a link that um, you just give to people that, to read in, in the notebook. Uh, but they don't have to be Zoho Notes users. You can export it as a Z Note, which is the Zoho Notebook file. You can export it as a zip, a PDF, and copy it to Zoho Writer. Now, for those of you that don't know Zoho Writer, Zoho Writer is like Microsoft Word or Google um, Google Writer. Uh, it's a word processor on the web. It's actually quite powerful, and I think I will do a video on that um, uh, one day. Okay, now, finally, you can print the note, delete the note, and you can search in the note. So let's just save this note here. So what we have is a notebook called Test Notebook, and in there I can have notes. So let's just add another note here. Um, let's just attach a file here. So let's just go to places. I don't know, I'm just going to download something that is not really that interesting. Um, let's just download this pure VPN file. Uh, let's see if I can actually do that. Here we go. So this is the pure VPN uh, Debian file for a VPN on, on Linux. Um, can recommend using a VPN, by the way, if you're uh, quite often in public Wi-Fi spots with your work computer. Um, so here we go. This is the pure VPN install file. All right. And that is now in a note as well. Now, if I want to group these notes, um, I can actually add them together like this. And now they're stacked. So if I open up this stack, it's an untitled stack, and I can give Linux stuff. So I actually have a stack here, in, and it's called Linux stuff, um, which is really, really handy. So here we go. And it seems to be synchronizing here. Again, I think this is because of the beta, so let's just go back. Here we go. All right, so we got the Linux stuff here, and they're stacked notes. All right, so other things you can do with notes. Um, you can obviously search notes, and that's searching in the text of notes, etc. You can add tags to notes. Um, uh, these tags are then remem reminded or uh, remembered by the system, so you can reuse the tags, and eventually the notebook will start getting smart and adds tags to it. Now, another thing you can do with notes is use the mobile client, and I'm just going to do that right now. Um, and I'm just going to take a document and film that. So bear with me. And I'm just going to find a document and, and, and put a photo of that in the notebook. Um, here we go. Let's just do the flyer for my business. Um, now, you can't see me in the notebook itself. Um, but you'll see it synchronizing uh, when it comes through. And I'll put it in the test notebook. Okay, so you have not been able to see that yet. But... What you see now in the test notebook, here is a document that I just scanned. And there it is. And you see it cropped it automatically. It's not very sharp. I have to, oh, here we go. It's getting better. Uh, that's probably my camera setting, uh, low light. Um, so it basically works the same as, as OneNote with Office Lens. It crops the picture automatically, so you don't see anything of my table here around here. And it just put it into the notebook. Now what you see here is it's got a download button so I can download this note straight away to my desktop. Um, so if I hit download, yep, I'm going to put it in my download. So I'm going to save it. And here we go. If I go back to downloads, then I see here the PDF version. Again, it's not a very sharp photo. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to do better next time. Um, anyway, but you get you get the idea. So as a OneNote client, um, I would or a OneNote alternative, uh, Zoho Notebook is actually quite uh, quite strong. Now, 
the other thing you have is obviously the web client for uh, the notebooks um, that works exactly the same as uh, your normal notebook um, that you saw here except it doesn't go offline so there's no extra functionality in your offline uh, notebook just yet so where do you open that now if you're a Zoho one user you go to the Zoho one homepage and there you select your notepad or your notebook um, here we go Zoho notebook now what I'm still waiting for um, is actually to be allowed to write with um, a pen on a note so if i create a new note in the offline client or in the web client it's not uh, uh, possible yet to use a pen or a stylus um, it is possible if you use the android uh, client or the ios client and there you can draw with a stylus or with your finger let me just quickly create a test note here um, and you'll see that come up so here we go this is a drawing note uh, Okay, here we go. Draw. And you see that appear pretty soon. Okay, done. All right, that's done. Now, if I go back into my test notebook and refresh it, here is my draw notebook note. That's what I just created on my phone. Um, what I'm waiting for is to have this also in the um, the actual offline client for Linux. Hopefully also, well, Mac not so much sensible, because I think Mac other than iOS doesn't have touchscreen support. Uh, but for the Windows and Linux machines that do have Tyler support, this would be really, really good. Um, if you are using an iPhone, there is a dock scanner um, a possibility in, in Notepad as well. Um, doc scanner allows you to um, scan a document and scan the text in that so that's kind of like what office lens and and um, one now do is actually scan the text in the picture doc scanner is similar i think it actually converts the text i can't test it for you because i do not have an iphone um, but do check that out and there's also a web clipper so if i go to um, zoho.com forward slash notepad book here we go what you have here is a web clipper in your chrome or firefox um, uh, card now you can create a link card or you can do an upload of a photo write a new card but if i create a link card it will actually automatically format uh, the 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 notes as a link for you so i do it in the test notebook here we go and the link has been added so if i go back to my test notebook do have to refresh that it's not automatically refreshing but here you go and it created a preview of that site as well and it actually takes you straight to that site so what it actually does it, it it's almost like bookmarks uh, without your browser uh, and you can share those so if i go back to my notebook here um, but you see here the link card has automatically appeared um, and it again opens up your browser and go straight to that notebook so that's a very very smart thing to do um, there are also some sites that support smart links smart notes um, for instance if you do a recipe it will automatically format the note uh, accordingly um, how, how that works uh, it depends I, I don't know I haven't tried this yet um, but there are some smart notes that um, yeah, automatically format the um, the site uh, as a you know for instance if you do a recipe it formats the sites uh, in, in a smart way um, again I, I showed the web clipper it's, it's also available for Safari by the way so it's Safari Chrome Edge and Firefox although I don't think many users of Edge will be uh, you know uh, I don't think there are many people using Edge still um, it comes with uh, resources like a manual or frequently asked questions there is an evernote migration so if you're an evernote user and you want to migrate away from evernote to a free version of uh, notes then here you go uh, if you want to keep up to date with what's new there's a, a url for that and there's a self-service portal there are forums and blogs now the other thing is uh, with 
um, notebook is you can integrate it with Zoho Writer, as we saw before. Um, you can also put in a notebook e-widget in Zoho Mail. So if you're a Zoho Mail user, you can actually save your your notes in your uh, bring your ideas to the, to your inbox straight away. Um, and here you go, clut the clear paper clutter with uh, Doc Scanner, but that's only for iOS. So I'm waiting for the Android client. Um, finally, there is an automation in here. Um, there are 250 plus apps that you can integrate Notebook with via Zoho Flow or Zapier. So they're com comparable point and click integration tools. Um, the nice thing about OneNote is, uh, sorry, about Notebook is that you can use it on every device. So you're not stuck to Windows or Mac. It also uses wi uh, uh, Linux, it uses Android, and it's uh, supported on, on I uh, uh, iOS devices. Um, it does have a touch bar integration, which is nice for if you're a MacBook Pro user. Um, I'm just going here for, there was something here that I saw on a uh, smart card. Here you go, smart card. So, um, it basically allows you to automatically format the notes uh, based on what you do. So for instance, if you do a YouTube video link in a note, it automatically formats a note with a preview of that uh, video. If you do a recipe, it takes the photo of the site uh, of whatever you're, you're putting in there. Um, it's not something I use, but it definitely is something you should, uh, should be looking at. All right, um, again, try one, uh, try notebook. I keep saying OneNote, but it's the OneNote alternative. If you want to try a notebook, go to Zoho Notebook, uh, Zoho.com forward slash notebook. And where it says with me access notebook, you will probably see sign up. Um, it is free. Um, it is free and Zoho will not sell your data. Uh, they will keep it all private. It's your notes. Um, so just go try it out. And um, you know, if you like it, stay with it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.